of the evening will be presented by Coach Matera. We started it last year. It's, uh, I'll, let you, I'll let you talk. Thank you, Coach. Um, so this award is the Commitment to Excellence Award. Um, after uh, Scott Craig and Bill Turry, um, you know, the exemplary coaches of really what it meant to so many of us that come through the program of exactly you know, how you needed to perform or how to be the person that you need to be, uh, you know, how to handle yourself, how to, how to just, you know, just be an overall great person uh, that also just plays the sport of lacrosse. Uh, the commitment to excellence is, is obviously it's in the name. It's not something you choose to do, you know, when no one's when when people are looking. It's when no one's looking. What is it that you tend to do? What what really uh, exemplifies your personality when nobody's looking? Are you putting that work in? Are you being that great person that you're supposed to be? Um, you know, when nobody is looking. So. Uh, this uh, student athlete, this player, Conrad McCheney, uh, <laughs> the Texas Board. I just want to say a couple different things about this dinner, about the coaching staff. Um, you know, I, I've lived in this town, I've had a home here for 68 years. I taught here for 35, coached here for over 40. I was blessed not only to live in this town, but the, uh, the opportunity to coach so many outstanding athletes and with parents that were so committed, not just to their kids, but to the program as a whole. And tonight is a tribute to that. Um, I don't know how Sean got in here, okay, because every other guy up here, with the exception of our trainer, the guys sitting over here involved in a little league were all ex-players of mine at some point in my career. And uh, that probably makes me more proud than anything else, that they're giving back to this community. I want to congratulate uh, the whole team on a really resilient season. Can never say die. Work, work, work. To the seniors, best of luck in the future. And then your, everything that you try to accomplish, I hope that all comes true for you. For the guys that are coming back next year, next year starts tomorrow. Okay, don't waste any time. Keep on committing to your individual skills. It's the beauty of lacrosse. All you need is a, is a stick, a ball, and a wall. You don't need anybody else. You know, one of my friends asked me one day, what, how do you know if your kid is a Division I player? And I said, when there's two inches of snow on the ground and he's out in the backyard all by himself shooting, then there's the potential to be a Division I player. If he makes a phone call and then makes another phone call and then makes another phone call and invites six guys to throw the ball around, which in an hour they get 30 reps, He's a social player, all right? So work on your individual skills if you have aspirations to be the best you ever can. The social part of it will definitely come. The brotherhood will come. Prepare yourself to be the best you can be. Best of luck, best of luck to the coaching staff. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Coach Craig. Um, you know, Coach, Coach Craig was up here, many years up here, trying to preach the same message, really. Okay, and it's all about the commitment, not just by the kids, but by the parents. And the, the parents, they cannot thank you enough for just being there for the boys, pushing them, and uh, to be the best they can be. And without your support, this, this does not happen. It doesn't happen. These parties certainly don't happen. But you don't have the success on the field unless you kind of kick them out, you know, kick them out the door, driving them to these practices, signing up, and unfortunately spending the money. So that's a that's a reality. Um, so I just want to thank you for that. 
and would like to move on, please uh, eat your dessert while it's 